The Digital Media Skills Programme is a high-level professional training programme which is, we've been running for the past two years. The aim is to upskill the huge amount of talent we have in the region from new entrants, many graduates, through to professionals with many, many years' experience and indeed right up to senior managers and leaders. A lot of the training that we do is actually subsidised and this is important for our industry which works quite differently really from a lot of other industries. We've got erratic production patterns, a lot of very small businesses and indeed individuals, freelancers who often can't afford the training and give up a day's work. So the subsidies and the public support that we bring to this programme is very important for the industry. I think it's important when you're in the creative and digital skills industry to be always looking at what's new, what's happening and what changes you see going on. And therefore training and upskilling development is key because the pace of change is so fast. Just a couple of years ago, around about 75% of people who actually wanted high-level specialist training went outside the region, mainly to London and the South East. Now, we've reduced that to just a third of people leaving the region. What we've actually done is to attract new private training providers to the region. We've worked with universities and other institutions to actually change the training that they do. And it's fantastic that we're growing here a successful base to deliver training in the future. Because of the investment in the skills infrastructure, you can now get training and skills development that is developed for the people in this region by the people in this region. I think without Northwest Vision and Media, there wouldn't be a training business in the Northwest. And what's really important about that business is it's delivered by working professionals. They get our skills and they get all our networks and all our contacts, and we know how it works. I think that's really important. One of the key elements of this programme is that we actually deliver what industry needs. So industry has actually been involved right from the very start in the design of this programme. Vision and Media have a high level industry board and indeed the people who manage the programmes have a lot of industry experience. So actually what we're doing is spot on for what industry needs. The general feedback I've got is that I'm now better prepared not only for the job I do now but my, for, for my career and in terms of what sort of employee what sort of manager, what sort of leader of a business I want to be and how I fulfil that potential. We have trained just under 850 people, which is a fantastic number and actually exceeds the number that we were actually aiming to do. Almost on a daily basis, we get emails and people telling us that this has made differences to their lives, whether it's gaining new skills, gaining new jobs or actually just meeting a whole range of people they would never have met. If you don't invest in people's skills then you lose competitive advantage and that's true for regions, for cities and for companies. And I think we lose the creative edge as well which has always set this region apart. The whole purpose of this programme has been to ensure that the North West absolutely avails of one of the best opportunities we have in the media industry, probably in Europe at the moment, and that is at Media City UK. Yes, there is a geographical base of Media City UK, but we must make sure that the ripple effect from that enormous opportunity impacts right throughout the region. And that means that we have to have a workforce that's absolutely ready to take advantage of that opportunity.